Yay. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be resolving the mystery around skill, um, active skill damage. I am going to be demonstrating which characters are actually able to deal more damage when they have active skill damage, um, which characters are um, actually able to benefit from this, um, which specific abilities are actually the ones that would get an increase if you have active skill damage. So that's everything that I'm going to be doing and to make sure that my testings are accurate, I'm going to be using plus zero logistics that doesn't have like any specific battle increases like or any stacks that would increase the damage of the character. I'm only going to be using the specific um, logistics that would only give me things like uh, energy regeneration or HP or things like that to make sure that the test that I'm doing is actually accurate. So guys, uh, the demonstration is going to be starting now and let's go. Hello guys, so now for a demonstration, I'm going to be using um, Akashia, the 4 star version of her, and I'm going to be uh, using this specific logistics that you see that I have equipped here. They don't provide me with any active um, abilities nor anything like that. Uh, they are just random um, logistics that I have equipped because um, every logistic would actually give you like this basic increase in attack, like 6 attack here and like six attack here as well so i just wanted to make sure that i'm not using as well any of the talents doesn't have like any increase like in crit damage or um, maybe like attack percent right you don't see here any of that just to make sure that my testings are actually accurate and what i'm going to be doing is just demonstrating guys how much damage you can do with um akasha versus the, this boss in the dispatch right and um i'm going to we're going to be showing here real quick i'm going to be attacking this area which is the weak spot and you see there is 130 damage and 132 and 131 and let me see you also see that there is seven damage that i'm doing as well with the other additional damage right so it's 130 and like seven additional damage that you do right 130 132 and seven damage so that's what normally you would do as damage with akasha with her skill but now if i change my uh logistics to a logistic that gives me active skill damage here again it doesn't increase my attack it gives me some crit damage let me see if i can find one that doesn't give me crit damage Oh, this one give attack all right so i'm going to be using this one anyways and i'm going to be using what is the other one for this okay but well, this one give attack okay this one doesn't give me any attack okay as you can see this gives me attack here and i also get attack here like it's the same six attack that i was getting with the other one so i'm not getting any additional increases the only difference now is that i have active skill damage and it gives me 16% increase in active skill damage. So we're going to be able to see now how much damage I do. And the best way to like verify how much damage I actually do is to use the number 7 that the ability usually does. Because that's a constant number that never changes. She always deals 7 damage with the ability aside from the damage that she does to like a weak spot or a normal spot on, in the body of the enemy, right? So let's pay attention now and see if I am still doing 7 damage or if I am doing more than 7. Okay, so let me see. As you can see, now it is showing 8 damage instead of 7, right? And it is doing 160. 37 and before he was doing only 108 if i'm not mistaken or 118 in the body if i'm not it was not attacking the the weak spot right 120 22 you see the eight there it's always eight and before it was always seven so as you can see active skill damage is actually increasing the damage of this ability that i'm using on this specific character even though it is not an ability that it stays in the field because i know that people were saying right that active skill damage was actually only for abilities that remain in the battle somehow 
or that have a specific duration during the time that you activate the skill. Um, but as you can see here, uh, this ability is just a regular ability that you tap on it and you deal damage to the to the boss. And uh, you know, it's not an ability that is actually staying, right? Obviously, all other abilities that stay and then continue doing damage, they definitely are active abilities as well. So what I want to say with these guys is that any ability that you use is actually an active ability. And let me demonstrate that to you guys. Like, for example, if I add here my Kaguya, right? I'm going to be removing the logistics that I have on my Kaguya here. I don't know why it is called transfer. I'm not, I'm not sure where I am transferring those, right? But yeah, anyways. So now um, let me just use some like random um yeah this one for example right doesn't have like any any um increase in damage this one as well doesn't have like any increase in attack or anything like that right and let's add kaguya here and let's start the battle now i'm off see ya so what I'm going to be demonstrating here, guys, I'm not going to be actually using Kaguya. What I'm going to be doing is using the support skill for Kaguya. This is the support skill, and as you can see, it is dealing between 190 and 193, right? It's always doing between 190 and 193 damage. That is the damage that the support skill for my Kaguya is doing. I'm going to be using it again, just in case, so that you guys can just confirm this information, right? Here you go. And where is it? Okay, <laughs> seems to be that it got lost. But yeah, definitely we were able to see that it was 130 to 100. Um, sorry, 190 to 193, right? Um, yeah. Now I now I would I would need to double check it. Let's just wait a little bit until he recharges. There you go. So it's between 190 and 193. 191, 192, 193. That is the total amount of damage that you do with Akasha um, support skill, right? If I exit now the battle and then I change my logistics and I give the logistics that increase the active skill damage to my Akasha, which are these ones, right? Yes, these ones here. And where is the other one? This one here. You can see again, they don't give me any additional attack nor anything. I'm using the same ones that I was using on the four star version of Akasha. So I'm going to be starting the battle. And we are going to be using the support skill again. And we are going to be able to see how much damage she is doing now. Let me just make sure that I'm you know, targeting this guy. And here we go. And as you can see, it's 216 to 219. 216 to 219. That is the increase of damage now um, that I'm actually being able to do. So, just by looking on that, you can see now, guys, that um, support skills are al also counting as active skills. And I'm just not going to be going to everything but just let me tell you guys that I also tested um, ultimate abilities and ultimate abilities, they also um, increase their damage based on active skill damage. Um, I did it like the most simple way, right? We can just do it real quick here. But if we use Frithia, right? And I remove the um, logistics that I, have, that I have on my Frithia, right? And let's go out here here with battle start. Let's go. All right, Freethia actually has the the skill already activated, the ultimate. So what I'm going to be doing here is just activate the ultimate, and you guys are going to be able to see how much damage it does. And it is between 110 to 160 something. So it starts at 110 and ends at 160 to 163, right? So if now we access the battle and when we are going to be changing the actual logistics to be the ones that my um, 
Kaguya has. Where is it? This one here. Equip. And this other one here, what it is? This one here. Right. So now we just battle star and then I'm going to be testing Let's go. the damage of the ultimate ability. Let's change this. Let me make sure that I am targeting the boss. And as you can see, it is now doing 177 total. The maximum amount was 177. So it is definitely increasing the total amount of damage that I am doing. So again, guys, active skills are actually any ability. It doesn't matter if it is a support ability. It doesn't matter if it is um, like an ultimate ability. It doesn't matter if it is a standard skill. It doesn't matter if the skill that you're using is summoning a unit that normally they are actually called um, auxiliary units, right? And they actually have a specific auxiliary unit damage, but they are also skills. And the damage that they do is affected by the skill damage. So just wanted to demonstrate this guys and show you all that active skill damage is something that is just beneficial to all of the units i'm actually using a set on my kaguya that increases the um active skill damage initially and then the second thing that it does is that it actually reduces the resistance of the enemies right so the one that i'm using on my kaguya is this one here let me just equip the full set that i have here you go and then basically what this does is that I have now a 24 increase in my active skill damage. And I also have um, a reduction of resistance, right? And this reduction of resistance is applied when I do, when I deal damage with an active skill. And again, as I told you before, even if you're only using the support skill, it is still counts. And I actually only use the support skill on my Kaguya. I only use the support skill and I only use the ultimate ability when it is available. That's everything that I do with her. And as you can see here, it um, it definitely would be amazing to have this set on her because I use her alongside with uh, wi uh, Life Wild Hunt. And since both of them are Frost Element, then um, once I use the support skill for my Kaguya and then I switch to deal damage to with my... Um, life while home then she's going to be dealing more damage due to the reduction on the resistance so guys just wanted to make sure that all of us are clear about this i'm going to be doing a couple more of videos explaining other types of damage and just making sure that you guys know exactly how it works because to be honest guys this game can be very very confusing like i myself have to take a lot of time reading and reading again and verifying and just double checking because we just does, don't have like anything that is like absolutely clear right i mean why call it active skill damage when you may just call it like all abilities and ultimate abilities damage right just call it like that so that we are clear and we know exactly what this damage is affecting so guys if you're liking the content that i'm making and if you want to see anything else and um, just leave it in the comments for me, which is something that you want to be clarified and I will definitely make sure to deliver. Thank you so much for being here. Consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel because that would help me a lot. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.